Good morning, Common Ground Kids. I'm Ashley. I've been given the privilege again to come to you guys this Sunday morning. I'm so glad to be with y'all. Um, last week, Miss Taylor was with you and told you to go get a parent or older sibling to join us for Children's Church. And we're going to do the same thing this week. So pause the video, grab your mama, your daddy, your older cousin, older sibling, get somebody that's a little bit older than you, and then we can get started. So press pause. Okay, good. <laughs> All righty, welcome parents, um, older siblings, older cousins, somebody that's a little older than the person watching the video. If you were unable to join us last week, here's a quick review. From now on, we're gonna do a family style devotional for children's church. So be ready to pause the video to stop and discuss a question we give you. But first things first, we worship. So make some room, move your chair back. If you got to move the sofa or the rug or the coffee table, go ahead and do that because you got time to do it while I'm talking. And then you'll have some room to be able to dance and sing. So in five, four, three, two, one. Our eyes have seen your glory and all that you have done And we believe the story that you are God's own son You stepped down from the heavens into this world you made a sacrifice for sinners, there is no higher name above all names. Your name is life, your name is power. You are our hope in every hour. Your name is life, you break the dark.
Welcome back. Catch your breath. Just take a second. Mama, daddy, older sister, cousin, brother. Catch your breath. Because, yeah, it was, that was a little turn. It was. Just saying. Um, I hope you all had a good time worshiping God together. Last week, we discussed Captain America being transformed into a superhero, aka a new creation in Christ. This week, we're talking about another superhero, the Black Panther. Yes, Black Panther has some super awesome superpowers that he inherited from his father. Sound familiar? Just a little bit. But he also has some really awesome gadgets. Let's watch a clip of he and his sister, um, of her showing him some, showing some of the um, his new gear. She has some really good stuff for him. So, out of all that stuff that, that she showed him, what stuff would you want? I mean, what kind of gadget, what superhero gadget, period, not just from this video, but like, period, would you want in in your arsenal as a superhero? Just saying. I'm going for the suit and the boots. I'm sorry, aka sneakers. Mm -hmm. With that being said, there are all sorts of gadgets that help protect superheroes and attack their enemies. I personally, like I said, would love to have the suit and the sneakers. Um, well, we have been talking about becoming superheroes through our faith in Jesus. But who is our enemy that we are up against? Take a moment to pause the video and read Ephesians 6 verses 10 through 18 with each other. If you haven't already, grab your Bible or pull up the Bible app on your phones, tablets, your mobile devices. But I recommend just pulling up a good old NIV, KGB, just a good old paper Bible if you have one. But again, that scripture uh, reference is Ephesians chapter 6 verses 10 through 18 and read it with each other. Did you catch where it said who we are up against? Verse 12 says we are not up against flesh and blood. That's just a way of saying people are not our enemies. The bully at school, the older sibling who picks on you, the problems we have with our family. Just breathe, it's okay. All of that is not our enemy. God creates good things, but there are spiritually evil forces that work against us through people and circumstances. Pause the video for a moment and parents, share a time when you thought a person was your enemy, but really it was a spiritual battle. And kids, share a time when someone made you feel hurt and ask, Kids, share a time when you felt hurt or someone made you mad and ask each other how this might actually be spiritual warfare. And now, there is a whole spiritual battle going on with angels and demons that we need to be aware of. As a family, stop and look up 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 8, and read it together. How does this verse make you feel? Now, after having talked about 1 Peter 5 and 8, we can be a little discouraged and afraid, but look up 1 John 4, chapter 4. We travel in today, people. We are traveling in the word today. Take your time, discuss them, read them. If you want to go back after and read them, go for it. But we travel in a little bit. So again, that um, the book is chapter, oh goodness, I jumped. 1 John chapter 4, verse 4.
the Holy Spirit inside of you is greater and stronger than the evil in the world. Jesus has won the victory over all the evil in the world through his resurrection. That is why we have so much confidence in Ephesians chapter 6. We can be strong in the Lord, stand firm to fight the evil forces off by putting on the armor of God. Take a second to talk about the different pieces of armor, of the armor of God. What, what do you think would be most useful? What can you easily, what, I'm sorry, what can you put on easily versus what is hard for you to put on? Alrighty, I'm going to take a moment to pray with you all, but I would love it if you continue to pray as a family this week for protection over spiritual battles. Father God, we thank you for each and every person that is watching this video, and we thank you for the lessons that you've shown us through the different Bible verses through the example of what the armor of God looks like. We have an idea based on the superheroes that you've shown us, Father God, but your number one superhero, Jesus, who has defeated death, who has defeated the enemy, who has defeated evil forces through his resurrection by your power, Father. We thank you, Lord, that they are coming to you and they're discussing these things with each other, Lord God, to bring glory to you that they know that they are safe and they are protected from these spiritual battles and they do have a, a, a place to go and a person to pray to to deliver them from the spiritual battles and know that it's not each other. It's not flesh and blood. It's not a person or a circumstance, God, but it is the evil spirits and the evil forces that fight against those who believe in Jesus Christ. Father God, we pray for a protection of each family that's watching. Every person that's on the the video that's watching it father we ask lord protection over mind battles over physical battles over evil spirits that try to use the family members to fight against that person even outside lord co-workers for the parents and and people in the streets and in the stores father we pray god to remain spiritual to remain to lean on you and your word and your promise to put on the full armor of, armor of god lord that we would know where to go to reference the every piece of armor because every piece is important father and we just thank you lord for this word and for this time again we praise you and we thank you for this opportunity to come before you and to cover each other in prayer and support each other in your word i thank you lord and we praise you in your son jesus name amen well we want to make sure we remember that our spirit what our spiritual armor is so we are challenging you and your parents together to create a dance to this song. It can be a TikTok or a drama or a replica of the dance we are about to show you. Please take the time, record it, share your dance with us through social media or directly messaging us. Oh my goodness, because I'm saying the video is turned, y'all. I'm, 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 there's a script, but I'm telling you the video is turned. So go ahead and put your video in. Okay, here's the Armor of God song. I'm looking forward to seeing your own dances. Y'all have fun, have a, an amazingly blessed week, and put on every piece of the armor of the, of, of, of the armor of God. Amen. Y'all be blessed. Bye. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Put on your armor guy. Put on your armor guy. Put on your armor guy. You got your armor guy. Got, got my belt of truth check. Breast plate of righteousness. Shoes of peace. Shield of hate. Helmet of salvation. Put on your armor, guy. Put on your armor, guy.